This is the way she looked when she started her journey. And Bob just said while we were watching that, I can't even believe that she's that that's her, that she started out with that big of a challenge. Yes, it's, especially because it's been so long now. Right, exactly. So let's see how she's doing. Come on out, lovely Olivia. <laughs> I mean, look at her. She's like six o'clock. <laughs> You're like six o'clock. You look absolutely fantastic. I Thank feel you. I think I feel incredible. I mean, this has been such a life-changing thing for me, and I've been so thankful that I've been able to hang on to it for almost five years. That's I mean, amazing. It's been incredible. Yeah. Awesome. What do you think? I mean, because you went through it and you've come out the other side and now it's five years later, what were the things that turned it into day-to-day -day life, obviously, for you? What were your keys to I think hanging on? My biggest tip is consistency, is that what I learned at The Biggest Loser is what I still do today. It had to become a lifestyle for me. It can't just be some fad diet. Believe me, I tried everything, mm -hmm. everything under the sun before Biggest Loser. I learned how to eat, I learned how to exercise, and I learned how to take care of my insides, and that because, kept me. Because when you're on the ranch, when you're on the ranch, they lead such a regimented lifestyle. Right, right, right. But it's like when it's time for you to go back into reality, I mean, yeah. you really found your place in reality, which is a very hard thing to do. Right. Yeah, I was terrified. I mean, to be honest, I mean, I, I had seven months with Bob Harper, like, right by my side. I had to learn how to live my life without him in my pocket anymore. So, um, but I tell you, like, his voice is in my head every day. Every time I get up, I make the choice to make good choices, to exercise, and just to take care to of myself. To stay committed, yeah. 100%. And also, she's changed her whole lifestyle. You're a spinning instructor. Yes. You've been doing it now for years. Yes. But that's uh, not the biggest one. Tell them the biggest one. Uh, well, there's a big one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah should we meet it's, him? The big one is actually a little one. Before you lost all your weight, you had a tough time getting pregnant, right? I did. I did. So guess what happened? Come on out. Come on out. <laughs> What's so great about this whole family, uh -huh. Ben wasn't even on the show. Uh -huh. And Ben, what did you lose? 113 pounds? Yeah, 113. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and who's baby? Is that baby Ben? This is actually <laughs> baby Harper. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mean, it, <laughs> are you freaked out? Uh, Are you freaked out that they named I, their son after you? Uh, I was so touched <laughs> when they called me up. We uh, we had dinner and uh, they told me that they wanted to do this, and I was just I was so honored. Olivia and Ben are just they are special to me. We are dear friends, and uh, I will be with them for uh, the rest forever. of my life. Yeah, <laughs> forever. Yeah, forever. Oh, how cute is that little baby? Yeah. Hey, I know that you're I know that you're spinning, but do you still sing opera? Your voice is so beautiful. I do a little bit here and there. It's so interesting how life just kind of flips the card upside down sometimes. Right, right. So fitness, being in the industry and, and paying it forward, encouraging other people, working at SoulCycle, that's become like my main focus, but singing cool. will always be there. I'm Italian after all. I'm yeah, 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 you can't try. Yeah. I mean